With limited weapons, limited spots for potions, and limited time, the race across the map is a hard game to survive. Hello everyone, this is Energetic Ruth, and this is how you play the race across the map. Now you should play this game only in private rooms, preferably in the Rec Royale solos, and with everyone who knows how to play. All the players will need to give their attention to the host to know exactly where the locations will be for the race, for it could change every game. The game begins on the gondola, like all Rec Royale games do. As you are on the ride, everyone should huddle in the middle to hear from the host where the start and end of the race would be, and so no one will fall out when the door is open. For in this game, you don't jump out until the gondola reaches the end of its track. For seeing while the gondola will end, by where it's headed, the host will declare to the racers where the race will start at. For example, let's say that the gondola is going to start at the top right of the map, and it's headed towards the bottom of the map. If you are a serious Rec Royale player, you would know that it's headed to Paintball Paradise. After the host declares that to the group, the host would then look at the opposite side of Paintball Paradise on the map to pick a location for everyone to run towards. Let's say it's the K-Rec Tower. Once the group understands the locations for the race, everyone would glide to their first location, in this case, Paintball Paradise. Once you land, you can start running to the second location. There are only two weapon options in this game, one being the gray pistols. It doesn't matter if they are laser or paintball, but they have to be gray. Your second option is the gray shotguns. It doesn't matter if they're laser or paintball, but again, they must be gray. Nothing else that can cause damage is allowed. No mines, no grenades, no frying pans, no snipers, nothing. Even if they are gray, they still do not count. As you are running, you're not allowed to start firing at others just yet. I'll explain when you can in a minute. Potions are important in this game. Like any other Rec Royale game, you should fill your shield bar. But for this game, you want to carry with you extra HP, even if it's just a small. You want it in case the swarm is covering your destination. So having plenty of potion is vital to surviving running into the swarm to reach for your location and surviving running back to the safe zone. Now to say that you have reached the end of the race, you have to touch the location. So, the K-Rec Tower touched the tower itself. Let's say that the destination is Frontier Power. You would want to touch one of the buildings. If it's the Creekside Camp, touch a tent. If your destination is in the swarm by the time you get to it, just touching its fence can count. If you are liking the design of this game, then please leave a like and share it with your friends. For the more people that knows how to play, the more people that we can play with for fun and for live streams. Once you have touched the destination, you can start firing at others. But if you find yourself in the back of the group, some strategy will need to be made so you don't get shot down by those who made it to the destination first. So other than your limitation to only gray pistols and gray shotguns, as soon as you touch the destination, it becomes a normal game where you can shoot down others and stay in the safe zone. Though there is one thing that doesn't make it a normal game. Teaming is not restricted. I got two of them now. Yo, uh, truce, please. I don't have a weapon. Uh, go like this. Truce, thank you. For... Oh wait, this is where we're This is to it. Go? This is literally the place. You can open that, I guess. Yup! <laughs> Yay! And that is how you play the race across the map. If this game seems fun to play for yourself, then get a group of 16 in event and tell me in the comments how it went. If you want to see gameplay, then you can watch it right here. I will also sometimes be playing this game at the end of my live streams. So if you don't want to miss that, then please subscribe if you have not yet. And with that, I'll see you later.